Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Over the last couple of weeks, Bitcoin has just been consolidating sideways here with the price ranging between this level of resistance from about 71 up to 73K and this level of support which is from about 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And if we take a look at the RSI momentum indicator, after we reached oversold territories on the daily time frame, we have just steadily been getting rejected from this downward sloping trend line with right now the RSI potentially about to retest this trend line once again. And I do think that once we get a confirmation, so a breakout above and potentially even a retest above this trend line, well, that will be a clear signal for us that the trend is reversing. And I do think that once that happens, it will be a clear signal for us that the price is actually reversing back to the upside, at least from this small downtrend right here, but is potentially even ready to break to the top side of this consolidation pattern right here, or even break higher. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves and just take it one day at a time. So now let's take a look at the short-term support and resistance levels for Bitcoin. So zooming in on the one hour time frame for Bitcoin, you can see that recently we had this rising wedge pattern that I did warn you guys about and said it was more likely to break to the downside, which in fact it then did. And then after we saw this small bullish divergence right here on the one hour time frame, we got a bit of bullish relief and then some choppy sideways price action. However, after we got this move to the downside right here, we actually extended the bullish divergence, as you can see, because in the case that you don't know, a bullish divergence is when you have lower lows in the Bitcoin price and you have higher highs in the Bitcoin RSI momentum indicator. And typically a bullish divergence on the one hour time frame suggests that we are going to see a bit of bullish momentum or potentially even just some choppy sideways price action. Though one thing we must keep in mind is this rising wedge pattern because it is targeting two price levels right here. The first profit target was actually already hit right here at about 63.6K. And of course, I shorted this move to the downside and took some profits right here for about a 40% gain. However, the next and final price target for this rising wedge pattern is actually all the way at the bottom of the wedge right here, which is sitting at about 60,000 US dollars. Though I am not saying that we are just going to reach this out of nowhere. I think at the very least, we would first need to lose this level of support right here at about 62.4K. And in that case, we might potentially then reach to the lower price levels. However, this is not guaranteed. And personally, I am not shorting this move to the downside unless I see some clear confirmation that it is likely to go lower. Next, let's take a look at this symmetrical triangle pattern right here that we have been talking about over a couple weeks already. Regardless, before I saw this pattern break to the downside, I already told you guys that if we break to the downside, the confirmed price target would be 58,000 US dollars. And as you can see, we already got pretty close to actually reaching the price level multiple times. However, we did not fully complete the price target. Either way, after trading to the upside, we almost invalidated the pattern. And invalidation, in the case that you don't know, means that the price trades above the point of the breakout, which would then invalidate the pattern, meaning that the price target is no longer active. However, the pattern wasn't invalidated, and therefore it means the active price target is still 58,000 US dollars until the price actually trades above the point of the breakout, which is at 67,000 US dollars. And I do know that right now this price target looks a little bit ridiculous, but it also looked ridiculous when we were trading up here. And like I said, it took about a day before we were trading $8,000 lower than the point of the breakout. So again, we simply can't rule out the possibility that we might go this low in order to complete the pattern until the price is actually trading above the point of the breakout because then the pattern is invalidated. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the three day time frame. First of all, you can see that we have some liquidity to the downside, about $150 million worth of people that are longing the Bitcoin price that will get liquidated meaning they lose their money on their trade if the price goes to this level right here at about 62.2K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So in this case, we have some liquidity right here at 62.2K. And then above it, we also have some liquidity at 64.5K. So in this case, we have liquidity to the upside and to the downside. So in order to get a better understanding, let's zoom out a little bit to the one week time frame, because here it becomes a little more clear that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside. 
with about $850 million worth of shorts that will get liquidated at about 67.3K. So in the short term here on the three day time frame, we aren't getting a lot of information other than if you are currently in a trade, these levels right here, these big yellow pockets are potentially some good levels to actually take profits if you are long or in a short position because you might get a bounce or a rejection from that level. And on the longer time frame, it is pretty clear that most of the liquidity is in fact to the upside. So there is some evidence saying that it is more likely to actually trade to the upside. However, personally, before I get too bullish, I would really like to see us break above this trend line in the RSI because that is what would signify a reversal in the trend for me personally. So in the case that you are not currently subscribed and want to keep up with the crypto markets, do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Now moving on to Ethereum on the daily time frame because we got some very interesting price action. First of all, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level. And then after trading to the downside, we then also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. So when we lost the support, we actually traded all the way back to the 0.5 Fib level where we found some support and are now getting a bit of a bounce. So in the very short term, it looks like we are actually testing to trade back above the 0.618 level, which would be very significant for Ethereum. So to get a better understanding of what is actually happening in the market right now, let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So as you can see on this four hour time frame, and I am sorry that this chart is a little bit messy. It's actually because of this pattern that I will get to in a second here. But over the last day, we actually cleared this previous level of resistance that has now been turned into support. So the support level right now is from about 3250 all the way down to 3150. So now moving on to the levels of resistance before I get to this trading pattern. First of all, we have a level of resistance right here at about 3330, which is actually the 0.618 Fibonacci level that I talked about earlier on the other chart. And right now you can see we are just testing it, trading just below it, getting small rejections, then pumping back, etc. So I do think that once we clear this level, we will trade higher and the next level of resistance above it is from about 3430 all the way up to 3530. But of course, before you can start aiming at this big level of resistance right here, the price must clear this level of resistance of this 0.618 Fibonacci level. So now let's get to this trading pattern. As you can see, this is a cup and handle pattern, which actually already broke out to the upside, confirming this price target of about 3650 for Ethereum. But like I said, you must keep in mind this resistance level right here and this resistance level right here because they can be acting as short-term levels of resistance. The last thing to note about this trading pattern is of course the point of invalidation because in the case that the price trades lower than the point of the breakout, which is at about 30 to 90, in the case the price trades lower than that, well, it actually invalidates the pattern meaning that we need to cross off this price target and it is no longer active. So the price is no longer targeting that level. That's about it for the Ethereum technical analysis. One last thing I wanted to note is the Ethereum ETFs that will start trading in Hong Kong on April 30th, which is definitely something I will be taking a look at, especially inside my Discord server. So make sure to join that if you haven't already. You can find the link to this server with the first link in the description of this video. Either way, this is very significant because when the Bitcoin ETFs launched, Bitcoin actually got a 15% correction to the downside before the price started going up. So since something similar is happening for Ethereum, it is very important that we actually watch the price action in the short term and are up to date with what is going on in the markets. Now, lastly, taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame. As you can see, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level right here and actually also lost support at the 0.618 Fibonacci level. However, eventually after getting some choppy price action, we actually found some support at the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So in the short term, we were just trading sideways, but we did have a bit of a scary moment right here, trading below the 0.5 Fib level. But in the short term, it looks like we held that level of support for now. So now let's move on to the short term support and resistance levels for Solana to get a better understanding of what we can expect in the short term. Recently, we were trading to the upside following this upward sloping trend line. However, I did mention that if we would lose that trend line, we would likely get some bearish price action, which we did as soon as we lost the trend line. 
And in fact, we fell into this previous level of support. However, then once we traded below the level of support, it actually flipped it into resistance. So right now, what you can see is we got a bounce from the support level below it and are now trading back into the level of resistance once again. So in the case that you want to see higher price action, Solana actually needs to clear that level of resistance before it is possible that it actually goes up much higher than that. So the resistance level right now is from about $140 all the way up to $150. And in the case that it does trade above the level of resistance, there is a bit of short-term resistance right here at about $160. But then the next big level of resistance is far above that at about 166, all the way up to $171 for the price of Solana. That wraps up today's update video. Thank you very much for watching once again. And also that we are so close to reaching a thousand subscribers. I really did not expect to grow this fast because the channel is only about a month old. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.